In today's video, we're going to take a look at some new construction neighborhoods that are near Cedar City, Utah. They're actually just north of Cedar City in Enoch, Utah, which is a suburb of Cedar City. It is a small rural town with a population a little over 8,000 people. It borders Cedar City, so most of the time you don't know when you have crossed into Enoch and when you have crossed back into Cedar City. Now, my name is Elizabeth Prisby. I'm with Stratum Real Estate Group. If you are looking to buy or sell a home here in Southern Utah, I would love to help you out with that. Please feel free to call, text, or email me anytime. My contact information is down below in the description. All right, now what I want to do is take a look at four different subdivisions that are located in Enoch that are currently building new construction homes in 2024. So what I'll do is I'll give you an idea of where these subdivisions are located on the map, and then we'll take a look at some of the different features that they offer to see if this might be an area that you are interested in. All right, now I have Enoch, Utah outlined in red here on the map to give you an idea of where it is located in relationship to Cedar City. Cedar City is just south of it. Sometimes you can't tell if you are in Enoch or if you are in Cedar City. Enoch actually isn't that large, but you'll notice that if I switch this to the satellite, it is mostly taken up by farmland and we are starting to see that farmland turn into different housing developments. Now I'm gonna zoom in so I can show you where the first neighborhood is. Most of the neighborhoods are going to be down this center road of Minersville with Mid Valley as the cross street. So we have north and south on Minersville. We have east and west on Mid Valley. So the first neighborhood, you're actually going to go east on Mid Valley off of Minersville. Then you'll turn north on Half Mile. This is the first subdivision we're going to take a look at. This is Valley Gate Estates. Now, Valley Gate Estates is one of the newer subdivisions out here in Enoch. They have recently been selling off lots in here for phase one. You can see that it is just getting up and going. Now, all of the lots have been sold out here in phase one, but what you'll notice is that the streets are paved, the sidewalks and gutters are in, and utilities have been brought to the lots. What you'll also notice about this neighborhood is that it is not one builder or developer coming in and building several spec homes. You are going to have multiple builders in here and you're going to have one-off custom homes. What I mean by that is I've had buyers go in and purchase land so that they can find their own builder and build in here. And then I've seen builders come in, purchase several lots and put some spec homes on these lots and then sell them out that way. So you can definitely get a brand new construction home in here. You can either choose to bring your own plan Plans and build in here, or you can choose to purchase one of these already built homes. Currently, the homes that are listed in here are right around 1,400 to 2,300 square feet with three to four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and two to three car garages, depending on the builder, the layout of the floor plan, and of course, the square footage. Now these lots can range from about a quarter of an acre up to about 0.37 acres, not quite a half acre. However, the majority of these lots are going to be a quarter of an acre. Now I did say that there's currently no lots available in here. However, you can see that they are starting to develop north of the housing already built. They are cutting in roads to get this next phase ready. So if you're wanting to purchase a lot in here, you don't wanna purchase from a home that's already being built, then be sure to watch for that next phase to open up. Now I did say that this neighborhood is newer. Everything in here is 2024 or newer. So unless you're seeing this video years from now, plan on a new construction home in this neighborhood. Another thing to note about this subdivision is there is not an HOA in here. However, there will be CCNRs. CCNRs are those covenants, conditions, and restrictions that apply to this neighborhood. Now, you must have an HOA to enforce these rules and regulations. However, they are attached to the property. So if you are coming in here, you are going to want to make sure you get a copy of those, you read through them, and you make sure that you can abide by those regulations. Now, as far as schools go for this subdivision, if you have an elementary age child, they're going to go to Enoch Elementary, Canyon View Middle School, and Canyon View High School. All of Enoch is going to be Canyon View Middle School and Canyon View High School. However, if you are east of Minersville, you're going to go to Enoch Elementary. If you are west of Minersville, you'll be zoned for Three Peaks Elementary, which is actually located in the Cedar City boundaries. Now, homes in this neighborhood are currently selling between the low 400,000s to the low 500,000s. Again, that could adjust based on when you see this or based on whatever the floor plan and layout 
is of the home. It really is dependent on when you see this and the builds that are going in. But currently, if you see this mid 2024, they're the low 400s to the low 500 thousands. All right, now this second subdivision that I want to take a look at is going to be to the west of that Minersville. We're actually going to head north on 300 east and you can't quite see the streets here, but this subdivision is newer. So you're not going to see the streets outlined here on the map, but this is where you're going to find the Derry Glen subdivision. Now Derry Glen is a little bit different than Valley Gate Estates. There are actually going to be about 30 lots in this location. There is one builder. There are eight floor plans that are available. So you can actually go in and purchase a move-in ready home, or you can choose from one of the eight available floor plans here. Now most of these homes were built in 2023 and 2024. However, there's a few one-offs that were built in this area all the way back to 2011. Most of the homes in here are about 1400 square feet to about 2000 square feet with three to four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and two to three car garages, depending of course on the floor plan that you choose. Most of the available floor plans though are offering a two car garage. Now the homes in Derry Glen are also going from about the low 400 thousands to the low 500 thousands. Of course, that will be dependent on the floor plan you choose and the selections you put in it. Now these lots range anywhere from 0.25 acres, so about a quarter of an acre, up to 0.45 acres. Most of them are right around 0.3 acres, so right around a third of an acre. Now, of course, they are still building in this area. However, they're not selling lots separately. Because this is a specific builder, you are coming in, you are choosing one of their plans and building it within this subdivision. Now, what's unique about this subdivision compared to the other three that I'm going to show you is that there is no HOA in here and there are no CCNRs. So Valley Gate Estates had no HOA, but it still had CCNRs, whereas Derry Glen has no HOA and no CCNRs. So just a little bit different there. Now, since this one, is to the west of Minersville, these homes are going to be zoned for Three Peaks Elementary. Now, if we head a little bit further west on Mid Valley, past where we stopped for that Dairy Glen subdivision, we're going to hit the Pineview Estates. Now, it does show that it's slightly outside of Enoch boundaries, but it actually has an Enoch address, so just be aware of that. Now, Pineview Estates is currently in phase one. I'm not sure how many phases they intend to put in here. However, for now, we're at phase one. This video is being recorded in September, 2024. So depending on when you see this, some of this may apply or may not. Of course, I always come back around and take a look at these subdivisions to see what they are doing. So come back in a year. For now, this subdivision does have eight available floor plans. They also have move-in ready homes, or you can choose your floor plan for the lot. Now, the homes in Pineview View estates range from about 1400 square feet all the way up to 3000 square feet. So this one's a little bit higher than the last two neighborhoods. This one will actually give you an unfinished basement option to allow you to purchase the home at a more affordable price and then grow into it later. So these homes are going to range from about the low 400 thousands to about the mid 500 thousands. Takes it just a little bit higher to add that unfinished basement. These homes can range from three to five bedrooms, two to three bath and two to three car garage. So you have a little bit more variety in your size in this neighborhood. Now the homes in Pineview Estates are sitting roughly on a quarter of an acre. There's not too much wiggle room in here. Now these homes are 2023 and newer. So 2023, 2024 currently in here. Of course, it's a newer neighborhood. We're still building out. So if you see this in here, then there's the potential to have a 2025, 2026. The, again, this is just phase one. Now this is the only neighborhood of the four that we're looking at that actually has an HOA. There is a $35 a month HOA fee in here. And so of course it also has those CCNRs that are attached to it. Most of the time, this homeowners association is going to use that fee to maintain the neighborhood and the development. However, we'll really have to dive into those to see what exactly this monthly fee is paying for. Now, again, because this neighborhood is west of Minersville, this neighborhood will be zoned for Three Peaks Elementary. Now, the last subdivision we're going to touch on is Settler Square. You can actually see it outlined here. This is where our Minersville and Mid Valley crossed. Remember, we have Valley Gate Estates here. We have Dairy Glen here. We have Pineview Estates here. You can see that Settler Square is just a little bit more south. 
south from there. You're likely going to want to take Old Highway 91 if you're coming in from Cedar City. Or if you do come all the way down to Mid Valley and Minersville, you can continue over on Mid Valley and you can take really any one of these streets to come down over to Settler Square. This one is going to be another neighborhood where you have one builder. This one has about six floor plans to choose from. They have move-in ready homes available. And then of course, if you get in early enough, you can have the option to choose your lot and floor plan. And of course, those selections. Sometimes they've already started a home that they intend to have as move-in ready. And if you get in there early enough, it might be framed up. You might be able to choose some of those selections and make a little bit more alterations. You can come in and customize a little bit in here. Now, as you can see, this neighborhood's a little bit more developed out than the others. The others are in the first stages, phase one. Settler Square is actually in phase four. So they will be finishing up in the next year or so. So if this is a neighborhood that you really like, I wouldn't wait to jump on this one. Definitely reach out to me for it. Homes in here are ranging from about 1,500 square feet up to 2,300 square feet. There is the option to do an unfinished basement. Of course, that has to be selected ahead of time and it won't work for every lot, but it does adjust the home prices in this neighborhood. So we're looking at, again, the low 400s, taking it up into the mid 500,000s, depending on if you do that unfinished basement or not. And of course, what your selections are. The more luxurious your selections are, the higher the home price is going to be. Now, these homes can be anywhere from three to four bedroom, two to two and a half bath, and two to three car garage. Of course, if you have that unfinished basement, you can always grow into it later. Now, most of the homes in Settler Square are sitting on about a quarter of an acre. Now, one thing you'll notice about this neighborhood is they will put in the front yard landscaping and they will also put in the rear wall, which could really help you out in the long run because it can cost quite a bit to put in your fencing and your landscaping. Now, even though Settler Square is currently working on phase four for those new construction homes, most of these built in 2024. Now, again, because this neighborhood is west of Minersville, this neighborhood will be zoned for Three Peaks Elementary sell home in this neighborhood. Now, as far as an HOA and CCNRs go, there is actually no HOA in Settler Square. However, it will still have CCNRs, so those covenants, conditions, and restrictions. And since this neighborhood is east of Minersville, it is actually zoned for Enoch Elementary. So remember, all of these neighborhoods that we have talked about will be Canyon View Middle School, Canyon View High School. However, straight down Minersville to the east is going to be Enoch Elementary, to the west is going to be Three Peaks Elementary. Now you also have the option of sending your K through eight students to Gateway Preparatory Academy, which is a charter school located just west of Minersville. That is an excellent option that I would recommend definitely looking into. You can just search them on Google and find their website. Now I know this was just a brief overview of these subdivisions. The main thing that I wanted you to see is what this area looks like. I'll have a lot of people reach out to me and they like the homes being built out in Enoch, but they're not really sure what to expect. They don't know how rural it is you can see there's not a lot of shopping in Enoch. We have a family dollar right at Minersville and Mid Valley where those cross. There's a Foster's Market attached to a gas station just south of that on Minersville. And then really anything else, you're driving back into Cedar City to get your shopping done. So as far as living out in Enoch, it is very quiet. It's a peaceful area to live. You have views of the mountains to the east. You have three peaks to the west that you're not very far from. If you want really that relaxed, country lifestyle, Enoch is a great place to be. You will have to drive 10 to 15 minutes into Cedar City to get most of your shopping. However, that might be why you like the area is because you don't want to be around all of that congestion. Now, of course, if you'd like more information on any of these areas, remember my name is Elizabeth Prisby. I'm with Stratum Real Estate Group and I would love to help you out with that. Really, please feel free to reach out anytime that contact information is down below in the description. I promise you I will respond. All right, until next time, have a wonderful day.